Imagine being able to hear the thoughts of the opposite sex, navigating the complexities of relationships, work and personal growth with this newfound power. Welcome to What Women Want Movie Review. In this video, we'll take you on a fascinating journey through the 2000 romantic comedy film directed by Nancy Myers and starring Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. We'll explore the plot, dive into key themes and unveil some lesser-known facts about the production and impact of the movie. Get ready for an engaging and insightful look at a film that offers both humour and heart. Welcome to our channel, Movies Review. If you enjoy deep dives into your favourite movies, character analyses and intriguing film trivia, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's dive into the world of what women want together. Before we talk about the plot, let's start with an overview of What Women Want. Released in 2000, this romantic comedy was directed by Nancy Myers and features Mel Gibson as Nick Marshall, a charming but chauvinistic advertising executive, and Helen Hunt as Darcy McGuire, a talented and ambitious executive brought in to revamp the company's image. The film was well received for its humour and engaging storyline, becoming a box office hit. It blends elements of fantasy and comedy as Nick gains the ability to hear women's thoughts after a freak accident. This newfound ability forces him to reconsider his views on women and ultimately leads him to a path of personal growth and change. What Women Want stands out not just for its entertaining premise, but also for its thoughtful commentary on gender relations and personal development. Its success is a testament to the clever script, strong performances, and Myers's skilled direction. The film's blend of humour and heartfelt moments ensures that it resonates with a wide audience. Before we talk about the plot summary, it's important to note the unique casting choices and behind-the-scenes trivia. Originally, other actors were considered considered for the lead role, but Mel Gibson's performance ultimately brought a perfect mix of charm and comedic timing. Helen Hunt's portrayal of Darcy adds depth and balance to the dynamic, making their on-screen chemistry one of the highlights of the film. Before we talk about the themes and motifs, let's dive into the plot of What Women Want. The story centers on Nick Marshall, a successful but self-absorbed ad executive in Chicago. Known for his charm and playboy antics, Nick's world is turned upside down when Darcy McGuire is hired to improve the agency's approach to marketing to women. Feeling threatened by Darcy's presence and eager to prove himself, Nick accidentally gains the ability to hear women's thoughts after a mishap involving a hairdryer and a bathtub. Initially overwhelmed by this new power, he quickly realizes its potential to give him an edge, both professionally and personally. As Nick begins to eavesdrop on the thoughts of his female colleagues and Darcy, he starts using this ability to outmaneuver her and steal her ideas. However, he gradually becomes more empathetic and starts to understand the women around him better, including his estranged teenage daughter, Alex. Nick's transformation culminates in him falling for Darcy and realizing the unethical nature of his actions. He confesses his deceit, putting his career and new relationship at risk. The plot balances humor and drama, showcasing Nick's journey from a superficial charmer to a more understanding and considerate person. Before we talk about the characters, let's explore the central themes and motifs in What Women Want. One of the film's primary themes is gender dynamics and the challenges of understanding the opposite sex. Nick's ability to hear women's thoughts provides a comedic yet insightful look into the communication gap between men and women. Personal growth and transformation are also central themes. Nick's journey from a self-centered playboy to a considerate and empathetic individual is the heart of the film. His interactions with the women in his life, especially Darcy and his daughter Alex, highlight the importance of self-awareness and change. The film also touches on themes of career ambition and ethics. Darcy's character challenges the male-dominated advertising industry, and Nick's initial attempts to undermine her underscore the professional obstacles women often face. Ultimately, Nick's ethical awakening and respect for Darcy's talent reinforce the value of integrity and collaboration in the workplace. Motifs such as inner thoughts versus outward behavior and the power of empathy are woven throughout the narrative. These elements add depth to the comedy, making what women 
women want, more than just a light-hearted romantic comedy. It's a film that encourages viewers to consider the complexities of relationships and personal growth. Before we talk about the critical reception, let's analyze the main characters in What Women Want. Nick Marshall, played by Mel Gibson, is the central figure whose journey drives the film. At the start, Nick is depicted as a charming but egotistical ad executive, comfortable in his male-dominated world. His ability to hear women's thoughts becomes a catalyst for profound personal change. Helen Hunt's character, Darcy Maguire, is introduced as Nick's professional rival and love interest. Darcy is intelligent, ambitious, and embodies the challenges women face in a competitive industry. Her dynamic with Nick evolves from professional rivalry to mutual respect and romantic interest, highlighting her role as both a catalyst for Nick's change and a fully realized character in her own right. Supporting characters such as Alex, Nick's daughter, and his colleagues provide additional layers to the story. Alex's relationship with her father is strained at first, but improves as Nick becomes more attuned to her needs and feelings. The workplace environment, including characters like Nick's assistant and other female employees, reflects the broader themes of gender dynamics and professional ethics. Each character contributes to Nick's transformation, making the narrative rich and multifaceted. Their interactions and development underscore the film's central messages about empathy, understanding, and personal growth. Before we talk about the cultural impact Act, let's discuss the critical reception of What Women Want. The film received mixed to positive reviews upon its release, with particular praise for the performances of Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. Critics appreciated Gibson's comedic timing and the chemistry between the lead actors. The film was a commercial success, grossing over $374 million worldwide, making it one of the highest-grossing romantic comedies of its time. While some critics felt that the film relied on gender stereotypes, others praised its witty script and the unique premise of a man hearing women's thoughts. Awards and nominations followed, including a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Comedy or Musical for Gibson. The movie's success cemented its place in the romantic comedy genre, and it continues to be a beloved film for many viewers. The reception highlighted both the film's strengths and areas where it could have pushed boundaries further. Despite any criticisms, What Women Want remains a standout due to its engaging storyline, strong performances, and the intriguing concept at its core. Before we talk about our final thoughts, let's explore the cultural impact of What Women Want. The film has left a significant mark on popular culture, especially in its portrayal of gender dynamics and the humorous yet meaningful exploration of understanding the opposite sex. The concept of hearing thoughts has been parodied and referenced in various media, demonstrating the film's influence. Additionally, the movie sparked conversations about gender relations, empathy, and the complexities of communication between men and women. Its impact on the romantic comedy genre is notable, setting a precedent for films that blend fantasy elements with real-world issues. The film's success also paved the way for similar narratives exploring gender and relationships in creative ways. What Women Want continues to be relevant and appreciated for its humour, heart, and the thought-provoking questions it raises about personal growth and empathy. Its lasting appeal is a testament to its well-crafted story and the universal themes it explores. Thank you for joining us on this journey through What Women Want. We've explored the film's plot, themes, characters, critical reception, and cultural impact. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Movies Review, for more in-depth movie summaries and fascinating explorations. Until next time, keep enjoying the movies that inspire and entertain us all.